Hi, my name is Lin Chen. I'm a postdoc from Johns Hopkins University. In this presentation, I will introduce our paper entitled Separating Fast and Slow Exchange Transfer and the Magnetization Transfer Using off resonance VDMP MRI. As we know, there are many exchangeable protons in tissues and most of them come from lipid, metabolites, and proteins. Here is a conventional brain spectrum. From the spectrum, we can see the strong MTC signal from micromolecules cover the whole range of this spectrum. In the negative side of this spectrum, there are contributions of aliphatic proteins from both lipids and proteins. In the positive side of this spectrum, the situation is much more complicated because this region is crowded with the contribution from proteins and the metabolites such as creatine, taurine, and glutamate. The quantification of such a signal has always been a hot and challenging topic in this area. For some special such agents that show distinguished peaks such as creatine and phosphocreatines at high field, the such signal can be extracted and quantified use using PROF, which is short for polynomials and uh, Lorentz light shape fitting. Another popular strategy is to acquire the full dispatcher with low saturation power and fit the dispatcher by assuming the Lorentz light shape for water and the magnetization transfer pools. However, this method is time consuming because it has to record the full dispatchers. Besides, this method is hard to detect the faster exchange protons due to the use of those saturation power. Furthermore, this method cannot distinguish the overlapping set signal. Here, we propose a new method named VDMP to separate and quantify set signal by taking advantage of their exchange rate. The VDMP saturation module consists of a train of Gaussian selective pulse. The delay between successive Gaussian pulse is called mixing time. The magnetization transfer behavior for exchangeable proton during the VDMP saturation is very different for slow and fast transfer component. The saturation of faster exchange proton can efficiently transfer to water. Therefore, during applying Gaussian pulse, the saturation will be immediately transferred to water and cause reduction of water signal. And uh, during the mixing time, there is no additional saturation transfer to the water, and the water signal will recover due to relaxation. The longer the mixing time, the more water signal will recover, and the less delta S will be, as illustrated by the bottom blue curve. For the slow exchange protons, because the saturation transfer is relatively slow, it needs more time to complete the saturation transfer. As a result, with the increase of mixing time, the delta S will increase at first, but due to the relaxation effect, the delta S will finally begin to decay. This phenomenon can be observed from the, the other five curves with different percentage of slow exchange protons. The contribution of faster and slow exchange transfers can be obtained by fitting the VDMP build-up curve using three poor Brock equation. The details of Brock equations are provided in the supplementary materials of paper published in 2017. Next, we tested the proposed methods using BSA phantoms. BSA phantoms contains various exchangeable proteins, which makes it very suitable for the validations. For the saturation modules, we used 16 Gaussian pulses with 10 millisecond durations. Each frequency offset has a VDMP curved with 8 mixing times, and the block fitting were performed to fit a VDMP curved at each frequency offset. The dispatcher with different mixing time are shown in the uploads. The separation of faster and the slow exchange transfers are shown in the bottom loads. From the separating result, the proposed method can efficiently separate the contributions of amide, amide, and lomatic 
which is very difficult to extract and directly from the dispatcher using Lorentz fitting basis method. Compared to the result with different saturation power, the contributions of faster exchange transfers increase dramatically with respect to the saturation power, which is consistent with the previous study. Then, we apply the proposed methods on mouse brains. Combined with the frequency offset information, we can assign the contribution of faster and slow exchange to different components. An interesting finding here is that there is a constant background for the separate faster exchange transfer, which we named is faster MTC. This may be a new set of contrast that have never been discovered before. The fast and slow exchange map can be obtained by fitting the VDMP build-up curve pixel by pixel. As we can see, the faster exchange map show a homogeneous intensity across the whole brain, while slow exchange map shows strong contrast between white and gray matter. Here are some applications of VDMP matter. First, the VDMP methods can be used to suppress the MTC contribution. Because the MT pool contains fast and slow exchange components, the VDMP build-up curve is very unique. By taking the image with the mixing tongue where MTC have the same contributions, and then substrating these images, the contributions from MTC can be removed. Here are the results on human brain at 7 Tesla. We acquired a VDMP dispatcher with mixing time of 0 and 100 microsecond. Then we subtract these two dispatcher and get the set contrast without MTC contamination. Using this strategy, we can obtain pure amide proton and aliphatic proton map. Another application of VDMP is to detect the ischemic regions of stroke. For the normal healthy brain, the faster exchange map is very homogeneous. For the ischemic regions, the reduced pH will affect the exchange rate of faster protons and cause the change in faster exchange map. By taking advantage of this, the ischemic regions can be detected. Here are the conclusions of this paper. First, off resonance VDMP technique can separate fast and slow exchange components from the dispatchers. Second, the proposed methods provide a new dimension to separate the overlapping set effect. Third, the proposed method can provide some insight into the contribution of MTC and the set effect in tissue, such as slow MTC, fast MTC, and the fast exchange protons. Last, I want to thank all my collaborators and uh, thank you for your time and attention.